what's going on guys welcome back to another video thank you guys for tuning into another video today we are going to be working on a tts we're going to be replacing the lower fog light grills and that should finish off the whole front end of the tts in a previous video we installed the splitter and before that we already installed the rs grill so this should black out the whole front end and finish the look so this is how the car currently sits we got the blacked out rs grill the new splitter and what we're going to be replacing are these grills right here i mean this aluminum piece really doesn't go with the whole floor the grill the splitter so that's what we're going to be replacing it's going to be all blacked out so you should complete the whole look and the only thing that we have pretty much remaining to replace to black out the car is uh, i mean actually are these mirror caps that are coming soon and we'll be making another video on those when those come in here is one of the grills unpacked Looks like the quality is pretty good. This is an OEM. This is, uh, I got these grills for like 90 bucks from eBay. But overall, I mean, the quality, the finish looks pretty good. But of course, the most important part is the Femin. So we're going to proceed with taking off the old grills and snapping in the new ones. So from what I've seen from some of the videos, you pretty much just have to kind of just pull this. But I honestly hate working with plastic so much. Like... I'm always breaking stuff and I feel like I'm going to break something, either one of the clips, it is going to happen, okay? There's some kind of movement. I know there's a clip right here on this end. The right side seems to be pretty loose already. So don't want to pull too hard and break these clips off. Let's just try to do one stronger tugger, hopefully. It all comes out. Ooh. Nothing broke. Ooh, let's go. Surprisingly, nothing broke, but ooh. It's a little dirty in there. We're gonna have to clean it up before we put in the new grill. But yeah, first grill out. Let's put in the new one. All right, so we cleaned up the spot a little bit. Time to finally see how the fimit is going to be on this grill. We don't know how to proceed with this. Uh, it kind of looks like it's going to be off on this side right here. Oh, shoot. Not too bad, honestly. Surprisingly, no issues. So, I mean, I'm gonna link this in the link below uh, where I got these grills from. But the fitment looks pretty great. There's not, I mean, there's a little gap right here where uh, it connects to this little lower grill piece in the middle. But overall, fitment's pretty good. No issues putting it in there. So I'm gonna give you guys a better shot of how the grills compare. There's the all black one. Looks pretty, pretty tough. And here is the old one. Huge difference. I mean, it makes the car look so much more aggressive from the front end. I mean, whoo! I love how this car is finally starting to come, finally starting to come together years later. We can now officially say the front end on this car 
is finally complete and it looks so good and now the side mirrors are the only piece that's really standing out from fully blacking out this car but those are on order so those should be coming in at any time overall the fitment is pretty pretty well uh pretty well done on these fog light grills the only little problem is i mean it's not really a problem there's just a little gap right here on both sides but i mean those they went in pretty easily on both sides so i cannot complain with the install and definitely 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 worth the 100 bucks and not even 100 bucks they were only like i think 70 or 80 bucks which is not bad at all oem oem ones are like i think uh, around 160 170 each and i'm pretty sure that you don't get the gloss black middle piece it's just satin black I got a quick question for you guys. So we are gonna be doing something with Diffuser pretty soon. I'm not gonna say since spoil what we're gonna be doing yet, but I'm planning on doing something with the Diffuser. You guys already know it's the OEM kind of grayish one, but we'll be changing that out pretty soon. But the question I have is what should I do with the spoiler? Do I keep the OEM style TTS active wing or do we go with a TTRS fixed wing? I'm not sure, like I kind of like this one and I kind of like the TTRS one, but I'm just not sure which one I like more. I like the active one a lot. It looks pretty good. And um, the only problem is the TTRS one, it's kind of too, too narrow. I wish it was the, uh, the wider one. There is a wider option, but that one also costs like 1200 bucks and I don't really feel like spending 1200 bucks when I may or may not be picking up a sibling car for the TTS tomorrow. So guys, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be sick, gonna be a sick build. It's, it's gonna be honestly a completely different build from what this car is. So I'm excited for that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's the TT, finally the front end is completed and I'm super happy how it looks. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.